This spot size sponsored by Can'tSee.com. A new theatrical touring production of the critically acclaimed Blue Man Group is now playing at the Fisher Theater in Detroit. And joining me this morning to my left, Kalen Almendinger and Jerry Copps to his left. Good morning, Kalen. Good morning, Jerry. How morning. are you guys? Well, thanks. You are a musician and you're actually a Blue Man, is that correct? All the way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a Blue Man, you're a musician. Okay, mm -hmm. take us inside the show. Well, uh, it's about an hour and 45 minutes, <laughs> and it's pretty hard to explain. Uh, I often stumble over that. It's, it's a multimedia, visceral experience that uh, I guess that needs to be experienced um, because it is so hard to explain. You kind of just have to be there. But there's a lot of music, a lot of comedy. Uh, it's good for all ages. We see families there all the time. Yeah, now that I look at Jerry, I'm like, yeah, of course, musician, blue man. <laughs> you hide to hard to hide all that. Under the How old are you? I'm 34. 34. So you remember watching Blue Man on the Intel commercials back in the day in the 90s. I was actually hired uh, right as that was happening. When I began working with the company, that's when they first produced those commercials and became kind of a inter international, or I should say nationally known outside of the cities where they performed. Now, Jerry, people think of Blue, Blue Man Group and they think of it being a very visual, sort of a eye-popping, freak-out kind of a show. But sure. you, when you play for the Blue Man Group, what do you do, actually? Um, I'm a string player. I uh, play guitar and bass for them. Also, we use unconventional instruments, um, Chapman stick and electric zither. Oh, wait, wait, say again? Chapman stick and electric zither. What, is the, what are those? Uh, Chapman stick is like a cross between a bass and a guitar. Okay. And you tap, and we also do a bowing technique on there. Um, and the zither is an 86 or an 88 string. My MIT is going to kill me for this one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it's basically like a harp on its side, and we'll use a slide guitar uh, slide on it to make it sound like a slide guitar and a harp section for melodies. Now, as a blue man, uh, Kalen, do you actually have to play drums and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Yeah, very percussive uh, role to learn. Um, I've, I've played drums before I got this job, but not everyone has, and they're able to kind of pick up the pieces as they go. How long does the makeup take? About a half hour. And it's you just sit simple. in the chair, and what do you do? Chill, meditate, listen to music? What do you do? Yeah, it all depends. Eat an apple. Uh, How do you even eat an apple when you're getting painted up with blue latex? <laughs> well, it's one, one, one thing at a time. Munch on the, let the, the, blue, the glue dry. We, we uh, glue a bald cap over our hair and our ears, and then we paint everything blue. That's the last step, so you can have a little snack you know, beforehand. Uh, does it pay well? Are you well compensated for being a blue man? Well, we don't have to have other, <laughs> other <Jerry's> jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm able to pay the rent. You know, it's been, it's been a good job. It's interesting. I mean, how does, how does one become a blue man? I mean, if there was a, like a, uh, well, he'd be in school right now, but if, so, you know, there was a 12-year-old or 14-year-old out there watching right now, and I want to be a blue man, how would you go about achieving that? Well, there's a casting uh, department that we have, and we hold open calls all over the world, actually. Um, and the same with musicians in the mm -hmm. show. Um, you can just you can either uh, it's, all the information is on BlueMan.com as far as when they are holding these auditions, mm -hmm. and you can sign up for a slot or just show up if it's a big open call. Mm -hmm. And there's there are a few different parts. We 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 test your drumming skills and then lead you through a, a series of acting exercises uh, for the first part of the audition, and then there are a series of callbacks after that. Uh, what about uh, Blue Woman Group, Blue Lady Group? Are there any women in the show? There have been. There have been, yeah. When I first started in Boston, I was performing with a, a woman who was a blue man. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, what is your musical background, Jerry? Um, it's varied. You know, rock, blues, country. Did, did that Snap contribute everything. to you getting hired? N no. No. They actually, uh, also knowing the instruments, what they are, like I mentioned the Chapman stick, nine times out of ten, if you know what that instrument is, they'll let you go through the audition process and then just kind of go uh, next. You know, and I had no idea what it was. So when I auditioned for it, I was just going in there. I thought I was going to be a percussionist, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, I, I was really wanting to do that. But stick with the strings, you know. <laughs> and what about uh, physicality? Do you have to, I mean, if you have a background in gymnastics or, or uh, mime, I mean, I'm, I'm grasping here, but hi, I mean. Uh, what, Everyone you, comes from different backgrounds. Um, it, it can certainly help if you have, you know, if you're used to using your body in, in a performing uh, performance setting. But we've had people who were who were lawyers uh, beforehand, or, or, or scientists and lab technicians. You know, people who come from all different walks. It sounds like you're not a blue man forever. It sounds like something you do for a while, and then maybe go on to something else. Is that you? 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's one of the great things about this company. You know, the success that they that they enjoy a lot uh, means that they've have they have these long running shows, which we can kind of come in and out of. So I can do this tour and then go to Los Angeles and and try to get some work there and and um, you know as an actor as an actor yeah uh, or you know whatever you, whatever mm-hmm. the case may be people or Jerry come you and can go. go sit down in a studio session for you know. exactly I mean I'm a registered nurse are you really I came from the nursing world yeah. And I went and saw the show and wanted to be a part of that because I was always a musician, you know, but I needed to make money. I needed to support my family. So it's a registered nurse. I still am, but I just don't work in the field right now. What do you think of Edie Falco as Nurse uh, Jackie? It's like cool. Good show? Oh, yeah, she has her issues, but we all do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to add about the show at the Fisher, Th- Fisher Theater before we let you go? We're here for two weeks. Come, come, come on over and see us. All right, excellent. Time. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right.